Hello, everyone. I'm going to tell you why Ray Rice wasn't charged with domestic violence. Y'all all seen the video. I'm going to also tell you why the media dropped the ball on social issues. You need to know, okay? But first, let me say this. Nobody should hit another adult, especially a man. A man should never hit a woman. It just shouldn't happen. However, I experienced Domestic violence myself. I'm talking about when I was a little kid, I watched my stepfather, mom, squabble all the damn time for about 10 years. The first five years, I was like, please don't hit my mama. The second five years, I was like, why the hell are you still here? I'm talking to my mama now, okay? I didn't say it to her like that, but that's how I felt. I've seen 30% of the time where she would start stuff. I seen her hit my stepfather with a baseball bat, clocking with all kind of utilities and stuff around the house. He didn't do nothing but just come home late smelling like another woman's perfume. I know that makes some of you women go like, well, he got what he deserved. Okay, but see, when you see that video, Ray Rice, yeah, he should have never hit her. He should have never hit her. However, once she lunges at him, She's engaged legally. He can knock her the hell out legally. But as a man, he shouldn't have did it. We all know that. You should have just grab her. Especially that's your fiance, man. Your future wife. You don't hit her like that. But legally, hey, you can't do that. Okay. Look at what happened with Jay Z. Yeah. Remember Jay Z in the elevator too. With crazy ass Solange going off on him. What if Beyonce was married to Ray Rice? Her ass would be laying on the ground and there wouldn't be no charges against Jay-Z. That's what people not understanding. You can't be jumping all in men's face like that. No matter what they do. So what if they cheat on their husband? So, I mean on you. So what? If he cheat on you, you got two options. Okay? You got two options. You can leave or you're going to put up with it. That's the bottom line. Because you're getting angry. You feel like you can do all that attacking or whatever. And I'm going to say this about Ray Rice. We all know this, too. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, let's talk about it. We know, what's his wife's name, Janae? We know if she was white, that nigga would have been under the jail right now. We know that. I want to hear about, oh, he's race baiting, he's race. We know that. I can show you all the black women victims, and I can compare it to all the white women victims. You touch a white girl, you're going to get it. They would start making up stuff. They would have charged him because Ray Rice, he spit on her a couple times. They would have charged him with assault. But he didn't get no charges. None. And you know, Ray, I'm going to say this. You got to be bigger than that, man. You have to be bigger than that. That's your fiance, your wife. But where's all these women groups when Tiger Woods' wife took a golf club and beat him so bad that he drove into a tree? He could have lost his damn life. Where was y'all then? Talk to me. What was y'all then? That's domestic violence. Because he cheated on her. She got the right to be mad and go off on him. You're out your damn mind. Don't make no damn sense. Can't just take a club upside a man's head or car. That's assault charge. Can't be coming at men in an aggressive manner and not to expect repercussions. Because now you're putting the hand in the man, you're putting everything in the man hand. You got to hope, okay, if you got a real man, then he's just going to let it slide. But if you got a little punk like Ray Rice, he's going to knock your ass out. And ain't going to be no charges. But where was y'all at, the women's groups? Tell me. I want to know. Huh? Where was y'all at when Solange was going off on Jay-Z? Huh? He, she could have stabbed him with a, a heel or something. Okay, and I'm not protecting Jay. I don't give a fuck about him. I don't, fuck that crack dealer. But I'm just saying. It's the reason why I always tell my nieces. I say, listen, don't jump in a man's face. Don't do it in an aggressive manner. 
Because yes, he shouldn't hit you. Because it's not fair physically in some cases. It's not. He shouldn't hit you. But you just don't know. You might have a punk on your hand who's going to knock your ass out and not get any charges because you jumped in his face. Can we understand that? And now to the media. Let me say this to the media. How come every time it's a black person with the issue, all of a sudden now it's got to be time to talk about the issue, bringing on your psychiatrist, your sociologist, and bringing up the issue. Oh, this is open all the Pandora box. This is open up everything. Every time it's a black person involved. Every damn time. Now it's time to talk about the damn issue. Chris Brown, Rihanna. Hell, Rihanna should have got a, a property destruction charge throwing a man's cell phone out the window. She could have hit somebody on the street. You don't do that. He shouldn't have hit her. No, he shouldn't have. But you don't throw a man's phone out the window. The hell wrong with you? The hell wrong with these women? But I'm going to say it again. You got to let it go, man, if you're a real man. You got to let it go. But I'm going to talk to you women, too, like I'm doing now. Ike and Tina, they made a movie about that shit. Because it's black. I want to put that stereotype out there. Yeah, black men beat they women. Black women run their mouth. Okay. Why y'all didn't do nothing when this motherfucker was whooping Madonna's ass? He was whooping Madonna's ass. Y'all didn't say shit. Charlie Sheen shot a woman. While he was dating. The one that's dating, that's married to John Travolta now. He shot her. He didn't get no time. What about the one-legged athlete in South Africa right now? He, he shot his woman dead. We can't talk about domestic violence now? Come on. He shot her. Okay. Jerry Jones is going through sexual assault right now. Ain't nobody talking about it. Ain't nobody talking about it. It's all low. This punk, Christian Slater, he did prison time for beating his wife. Christian Slater, look at him. He did prison time for beating his wife. Oh, you don't want to talk about domestic violence now? Oh, okay. Okay. You don't want to talk about it. Hugh Hefner's son stomped his girlfriend. Stomped his girlfriend. Yeah, I thought so. The MMA fighter. This dude right here. he been on the run for three weeks. They just called him. For domestic violence. Y'all don't want to talk about domestic violence? When y'all looking for this motherfucker, you done stopped the press? But you're going to stop it on this shit because it's a black man. It's a black man. This motherfucker was on the run for domestic violence. What kind of shit is that? Where was you at women groups then? Now. Not then, now. Not then, now. I'm talking to you. Hollywood been beating women's ass, slapping them, raping them. But no, it's a black issue. No, it's not. It's a domestic violence issue. Bullshit. Not in the media. Okay? Every time it's an issue. Mike Tyson, date rape. Kobe Bryant, date rape. Now we want to talk about bring all the pundits on TV. Michael Jackson, child abuser. O.J. Simpson, wife killer. Clarence Thomas. Sexual harassment at work. Every time, that's when y'all want to talk about the fucking issue when a black man's involved. Fuck you. I'm talking to the media, okay? You don't understand that? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Every time a black man involved in one of these issues, it's become a big issue. When a white guy do it, it's in and out like a fucking hamburger. Hear that shit? And let me talk to you women that be dating these men that beating your ass. Yeah, I'm a little psychotic because I went through it when I was young with my mama, my stepfather. See what happened with your kids? No woman should let any damn man hit her in front of her fucking kids. You shouldn't do it. Stop being fucking selfish. I don't give a fuck about no syndromes. You fucking selfish. It's like I tell my nieces, I'm telling you. The first time he hit you, I'm coming to your rescue. The second time he hit you, call somebody else. Shit, you need help. You that motherfucking insecure to stay with that motherfucker? 
I don't care if a fuck. You need that much passion? Huh? Your relationship that boring? Where you got to fight and make up all the time? And because he's a little bit stronger, it's going to get a little... Come on now. What the hell wrong with y'all? Yeah, that's why I'm a little hyped on this issue. That's why I had to put on my serious glasses today. Shit's bullshit. Okay? And you know, Ray, you shouldn't hit that girl. That was your fiance. Okay? And let me find out kind of Lisa Rice behind all this shit. Because they talking about getting rid of Roger Godell. Ray Rice, Connor Lisa Rice, they might be second cousins or something. You know she might be the next NFL commissioner, Condi Rice. Now, I know it's a serious issue, but still, thought I'd bring that up. <laughs> Seriously, women, you stay with a man that hits you. I ain't got nothing for you. Like, as soon as Janae, I'm talking about Janae Rice, Ray Rice's wife. It was his fiance at the time. The day she fucking married him after that, the story was over for me. She married this man after he knocked her out. You just grab your woman. You don't put, you don't ball your fist to no woman like that. Even though there's been women who killed men with guns. Knives, cars, there's been women running over men. And you know what's because he's cheating, hitting motherfuckers with golf clubs. But the day she married him, the day she go back to him after she, he, the story's over with. I don't care. It's not even an issue. It's not. Stop making this. These is grown ass women. They're not kids. It's not slavery when they forced to be with this man. They're not forced. They grown as women. If they stay with the man, the story's over with. Okay? Now, that's all I got to say on this issue. Until next week, I might be a fool, but I'm still going to report and talk about some damn fools like you, Ray Rice. Peace. <laughs>